News Center. This is News Channel 8 Today. News this week of Angelina Jolie's double mastectomy is raising awareness about breast cancer and the fight to find a cure. Well, this morning we have learned of a major medical breakthrough. The University of South Florida is part of a nationwide study that is showing success in freezing away breast cancer tumors. Doctor, how are hey. you? How you doing, Madeline Molea, featured in this PBS special, was one of the first participants to sign up for a study on cryoablation, a procedure that freezes early stage breast cancer tumors. Her doctor, one of the most renowned researchers and physicians in the fight against breast cancer, Dr. Charles Cox, who is heading up the University of South Florida's role as the largest participant in this nationwide clinical trial. Once that tumor is frozen, that tumor is killed. We don't have to take you to the operating room. We don't have to remove it. It's done. It's killed. It's dead. This is a Vizica 2, the device being used in the study. Dr. Cox explained to me how the very tip of the attached needle can precisely target early stage tumors. They can do this now with a needle and concentrate the actual uh, freezing uh, liquid nitrogen right in a very small area at the tip of a needle and not damage other tissue, but just what it's in contact with. During the procedure, the patient is awake. Local anesthesia makes it painless, but it's what happens after the tumor is frozen that is really exciting researchers. The body then processes and, and takes away all that dead material and in doing so can actually develop antibodies against tumor cells, potentially being able then to fight cancer that may have spread. And Cox says this could eventually lead to a vaccine for breast cancer patients. Looking at it as a whole, it's promising. Oh, very much so, yes. I'm, I'm very encouraged about it. Initially, I thought it was just a gimmick. Yeah, you freeze something, you know, it's like freezing a wart. Like I say, yeah, no big deal. You know, this is just, just a way to do something different. No, it, it really, I've become my own convert to the idea. Only one or two more patients need to be treated before the results are made official. We will keep you posted, but again, this really stresses the need for early screenings because this is mm -hmm. early stage breast cancer tumors. And, but, and you say this study kind of has another study that kind of comes yes, out of it. Yes, it sparred what could become a vaccine to fight breast cancer. That's fascinating. It is. And very good news. Very exciting.